Welcome back to the second of uh, the second lesson videos. It's kind of weird to say, but this one's going to be on ratios and proportions. All these things are just relationships dealing with numbers. So we can say that two things are related, like that. This is a ratio. A is related to B. So I could say for every A, there is B. What does that mean? Well, let's say when cooking a turkey, You cook 15 minutes per pound of turkey. We would write this relationship as 15 to 1. And if we wanted to be technical and use variables, we'd have 15 minutes to every one pound. The beauty about proportions and ratios is I can flip them and I have a sim and I keep the same relationship. I could also write one pound for every 15 minutes. A ratio deals with just one relationship, A to B. So this is ratios. Proportions are two relationships. A is to B at the same time C is to D. So this is a proportion. So let's take that example that we had before where we're cooking the turkey. How many minutes to cook a 30 pound turkey. I'm going to set it up just like this proportion here. Now it doesn't matter what I call A as long as I call the same variable C. So, if we stuck with that 15 minutes, this is why it's important to keep your labels on, to one pound, I have to keep my minutes in the first spot. So I have x minutes is to 30 pounds. But that's really icky looking and it's tough to manipulate. So how else do I write this? I can write these both as fractions. 15 over 1, 15 minutes over 1 pound, equals x minutes over 30 pounds. And this is where you cross multiply. This times this, I'm going to write it here. 15 times 30, well let's see, 3 times 15 is 45. I have one zero there, so I'm going to add that. 450, and I'm going to multiply that by that and write it there. 
equals x. Once I start cross multiplying, I can get rid of my units. Now this time I didn't have to do any other manipulating because my x was in the top. So there's my, there's my answer. We're going to do a couple examples of these. Sorry, it's always hard to make sure my hand's on the screen. Let's say gas costs $3.69 per gallon. Could also be written like this. How many gallons will thirty dollars get? I apologize for the poor grammar, but Here's my main ratio. So I know it's 3.69 for every one, and this is dollars, and this is gallons, equals, since I have my gallons on the de as the denominator here, I've got to have gallons here. X gallons, and on the top I'm going to have 30 dollars. Same process as before. I'm going to cross multiply. 3.69x equals $30. Sorry for putting that dollar sign in there. Now, how do I solve for x? Well, since it's being multiplied by something here, I have to divide by that value. Divide by 3.69 to each side. get x equals, and as I pull out my calculator, yep, I'm using the iPhone calculator. Thirty divided by 3.69 equals 8.130081 blah blah blah. For most of these questions, you can round to as many decimal, decimal points as they give you. They give me two decimal points in each of those, so I'm going to use two decimal points. 8.13 gallons. All right, we're going to do one more problem in this video. And I'm actually just going to pull to a new page to make everything easier. A man is traveling. at 65 miles per hour. Remember, that's 65 miles per hour. How many minutes does it take for him to go 72 
miles. Now there's a lot more going on in this question than you think at first. The first thing we've got to do is find the time that it takes for him to go 72 miles. Well, here's my ratio, 65 miles for every one hour. And that's going to equal 72 miles over x. I'm going to cross multiply. 65x equals 72. x equals, so I divide each side by 65. point one. And there's something else I probably should address. If they don't give you any decimal values and you are and your answer ends up in in some, at least write one. At least round to one decimal value. So I have one point one hours. The problem is that's not what the question's asking me. This one's asking me about minutes. So I need to take my 1.1 hours and translate it into minutes. Now this is a relationship that I'm hoping most people know. But we know that one hour equals 60 minutes. To write this as a ratio, I can do one hour over 60 minutes or 60 minutes over one hour. Either one of those will work. Now, since I have 1.1 hours, I'm going to stick with this one. 1.1 hours over x minutes, because that's what we're trying to find, equals one hour over 60 minutes. Cross multiply again, I get x equals 1.1 times 60 is 66 minutes. And there's my answer. You could have used this relationship. If you do that, you've got to flip this. So it's x minutes over 1.1 hours equals 60 minutes over 1 hour. But it all ends up the same way. I still have x equals 66 minutes. I had to flip it here though, so I keep all my units in the same order. All right, and that'll do it for this video on ratios and proportions. Thank you, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.